Everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altamercer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass!
All of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. And the outsmercher is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. What about, like, the nuclear cannon? What are you talking about, Wyatt? The shockwave from the nuke could push us out to sea, man. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull.
got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Friar Angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we're gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack, conquer the Ausmercer, and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. It's so easy, man. I've got it all figured out. Oh, yeah? After you atom bombed the bejesus out of the old Oberkommando at Roswell, the Nazis ran scared. They took all their top brass, all their top military secrets, and they reestablished the Oberkommando on Venus. Venus, the planetary body, Venus in space, man. It is cold. Up there, you're gonna need radioactive mittens. Mittens, nigga! Okay, we're just gonna fly there. We are gonna load up, and we're gonna fly. Uh -huh. Oh, man, we're just gonna take our choppers, but instead of only going so high, we are just gonna keep going straight up right into space with the mind. You know? Then we're gonna drop you off on Venus. You're gonna break into the Ober Commando, and you are gonna steal those Odin secrets from their computing machines. So, I might have a plan, too? Wyatt, do you mind? No, man. It's all good. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terrabilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown. Anya, what you think? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? Can't even tell no more. Oh, look. Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, I'm on my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Need the pretend acting for those so inclined. <laughs> 